Hi everybody, it's Pete, and today's video is about drawing larger art. As an example, I will be using this 18 by 24 inch pad of watercolor paper. In order to do this, you need some way to be able to take your iOS device that's running Camera Lucida and looking at your drawing surface and outputting it to a second monitor. Today I'll be using my MacBook Pro. Let's get started. The next step is to send the video of my iPad to my MacBook Pro. And I'm going to do that using screen mirroring. So I come to the screen mirroring option and I select my MacBook Pro. Now this works because I'm running a piece of software on my Mac called Reflector 2. There's a version called Reflector 3 as well, by the way, and both of them have a free trial period. And when you're doing this, what you'll see is that whatever is sent to your iPad or your iPhone will get updated on the screen of your Mac. There's a slight lag that it adds, but it's tolerable. So the next thing we're going to do is show you how to set up a Bluetooth keyboard. Now when I'm drawing, I want to sit at this chair and draw comfortably. I don't want to have to lean over my iPad and stretch my arm down two and a half feet to my drawing surface. That just won't work. So I need to control the application, zooming and panning, that sort of thing, with a remote keyboard. I'm going to hit the connect button on this Bluetooth keyboard and I'm going to pair it to my iPad by going into the settings and going to Bluetooth and hopefully it will see my keyboard and let me pair with it in just a second. There it is. So I'm going to click on that. Give it a second. 1001. There we go. And it's asking me to pair by typing in this 5110. Zero. There we go. And now I'm paired. All right, let's recap. In between the cuts, I change things a little bit. I move the MacBook Pro in front of me so it'd be more comfortable. I change the background of the Reflector app to be black. And I hit the Posterize button just to save some time in between uh, takes. So now we're ready to actually start drawing because everything that I'm doing in here is going to be reflected up on my screen. So let's talk about controlling Camera Lucida just using this keyboard. It's really simple. Put your fingers on A, S, and D. These are the default keys that you can change in the settings app. Q and E zoom you in. So when I hit Q and E, you'll see it zooms you in. And when you're zoomed in, you can hit A, S, D, and W to move left, right, forward, and back. So you can pan up and you can pan down. And if you want to change the transparency, let's put something on the, on the table so we can see it. You can use the Z and the C key to change transparency. All right, so that's more, that's less. My camera's not exposed quite perfectly yet for my MacBook Pro, but it looks better in person. And then finally, you can hit the F key to turn off and on the flicker, which will fade back and forth, which is one of the features that I want. Any other controls that you want, like image processing, changing the speed of the flicker, etc., etc., you would have to do actually from, you'd have to stand up and hit your iPad. Okay, so that's how you make large drawings. And to do it, you use the app in the exact same way that you normally would, but you look at the screen in front of you. And as you can see here, this camera can see this entire sheet of piece of paper just by holding it up further. So I hope that explains to everybody how to make larger art by mirroring the output of your iPad to some other display. And again, there are lots of ways of connecting to other displays, including HDMI cables. Um, there's other applications for mirroring. You can even connect wirelessly to an Apple TV that's connected to your TV. They all work pretty good. All right, hope that helps.